on holiday books because you know I'm a seasonal reader. Yes. And I was trying to think of, I don't really have new books this year yet because I haven't read any new ones. Mm -hmm. I was thinking of like my all time favorite revisit for the holiday season slash winter mm -hmm. books. And one of them I just always come back to is Lords of Mercy, right? That's the third book. Goes, yes. Lords of Pain, Lords of Wrath, Lords of Mercy. And the Christmas. When story wrestles and everything. Yeah. Well, I yeah. love the Christmas and they do the um all the games and the oh, yeah. And, yeah. and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just not such a good, like it's just such a good but it's such that like trio of books is so it's so well rounded from like the beginning. Like all of it. You get that the complete journey of like angst yeah trouble and then like finding the solution you know what I mean mm -hmm. so good and I was trying to think if we really got a holiday with Dukes beyond Saint Nick I don't think we did because of the timeline mm -hmm. I think I think the issue was that they like once they decided they were going to do an overall world I oh, at the very end I think it was Christmas because going into um, Verity's story, it's the next semester. It's spring semester. So she didn't believe... miss. Um, she didn't have Christmas at the palace. Verity. I think I. No, no. What I think happened was it was the very end of Dukes. And I remember that they had them over for those holiday games that they they used to host the holiday games. Um, but that one year in the book, they didn't. They just had it for themselves. But so the next year that they did, they did have them. And the Dukes went there and they were competing in like a game. I forget which one, if it was Nick and Killian or oh, if it was Sky the and Killian. They were competing at the carnival for sure. I thought, I thought that Nick they did. Um, Killer. Was it yeah. the carnival? I thought that they were, I thought that they had a holiday thing too. Maybe I thought there was too. a little bit of like, I remember there was something with snow or sledding. And yeah. they were like, oh, maybe. I think, Maybe you know I've reread the Lords so many times, but I haven't mm -hmm. reread the Dukes. You know I haven't reread the Dukes either. Oh. Hmm. That's true. Hmm. Anyways, so yeah, top Christmas or winter books. Like I have Lords of Mercy. <laughs> it's one of yeah. mine, and like Credence is another one. But like, do you have any? We kind of talked about it last year. I think we talked about scenes. Like Hannaford was always mm -hmm. mine. I always think of the Hannaford with, you know, the French toast and the mm -hmm. sprinkles. Yeah. And then that one year when Make, I don't know if Make Your Move came out by Christmas, but it was around Christmas where that like the boys perspective came out and it just made Hannaford kind of Christmassy for me. Yeah. But no, I mean, I, there was like a scene in Untouchables. There was like, there's always just scenes. Like yeah. I can't find a good holiday book, which is a bummer. Mm -hmm. I wish there was a series that had a whole book that was a holiday one. That would be really cool. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, we got 12 books of Frankie instead of it. I mean, they kind of had one where they went away for the holiday, yeah. but it wasn't all holiday. Okay. I'm reading I that one. Like, yeah, I mean, so I mean, there's this new Heather Tate one, and for a, a standalone reverse harem holiday book, I do like it because it's different. It's not a rom com. It's like a darker read. Yeah.